Hey everyone, I'm Noah from the Super Gamer Bros, and welcome back to another episode of Greedfall. Uh, in the last episode, gosh, what did we do? We, uh, that stuff for Afra, if I'm not mistaken. Hello, Your Excellency. And it's been a while, quite a few missions, so I'm going to see how I'm going to fare in the arena now. Um, you know. If it doesn't go so well, then I'll try, uh, Petrus has a quest, and I have that other quest for the, where I have to fight the Ordo Luminous members. Oh, I could have just teleported here. Ready to excite the crowd. I wish to fight alongside. Really? You'd have to go in alone. Are you sure that this pre- this man has been the victim. Oh, that's I have to warn you, Tom. Fight Justice now. Justice cannot wait. I am ready to... Excellent. In that case... This is already much better. Oh. What a shot. My turn. Oh, I thought he'd be stunned again. Oh. I do need more health what potions. A show. You've won the affections of the crowd. And when the crowd makes a decision. It gets what it wants. You're free, prisoner. I owe you my life, Onol Manawi. Blessed be the winds that have blown you to my side. By what name should I address you? My name is Desade. In fact, it's your cousin the merchant that sent... Follow me. Let's go and find... Ah, on old Menawi. Oh, I'm glad to see you again. Oi, oh, Ven. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Then you must thank this on old Menawi. He fought to save. Thank you. May the grass always be soft. Don't mention it. I also brought you back your goods. May the trees always bear you fruit. We owe you a lot. You should go see Ulan, the chief of Vignamri, my village. He wants to be friends with the Renaigse. Since you are a legate, you could... That's right, friend. I, I am the legate. I am the diplomat. The Shadows of the Guard, Champion of the Arena. Where is that quest at? Nowhere. Aw. Can I travel without being at... No, I have to go to a travel place. Okay. So, where is the closest? Probably the Desarde residence. Oh, it's just right over here. Okay. So I guess we'll continue this side quest. Might drop Afra for Siora. And then the next one I'll do... I guess I'll try the Sister Eugenia one again. Um, 
and then after that the Petrus quest. But obviously if I can't survive the Sister Eugenia one, I'll just do the Petrus quest. I just wanted to pick up some health potions. Oh, I'm just right here. Okay. Let's see what he has. Burti Dumad. I am Ulan, chief of the village of Vignam. You have a peculiar face. And it looks familiar. I didn't know that people from the continent could bear the mark. To what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? I met a member of your clan in New Serene, a merchant. Oh, so you are the strange Anal Manawi, who helped and saved our hunter. I am very grateful to you. May the trees along your path always bear fruit. I knew the Renaixe could be good, and you proved to everyone that I was right. You are someone that the kings of the Renaixe respect and listen to. As hey, the that's of the correct. Congregation, it is true that I can talk to all the governors of this island. That is what I taught. I need your help to talk to the leader of the great city of Hickman. About what? I want to meet him to offer a peace treaty between his clan and mine. Many kings want to chase the Renaixe away from the island, especially the kings of Hickman. But I know we could learn many things from them. And we could arrange a great... I see. I can indeed talk to the governor about your desire to make peace. If you do talk to him, can you also tell him that one of my clansmen has come to trade with his town? I sent him some time ago, but I was told that the soldiers did not let him in. He fears for his life, because some other clans do not look favorably on exchanges with the Renai. He could be attacked at any moment. Alone on the road. Very well. I will make sure that he obtains permission to enter. That guy sure had a lot of favors to ask. Now we've got a few things we can do here. We can ask for the doctor in Hikmet to help. Constantin, and I do want to continue that quest and find out what the heck is going on with him. We'll go talk to the governor first.
I just wanted the skill thing in the top right to go away. I don't know how to get that to go away. Your Excellency. Lady Desade. And to what do I owe this honor? I met Ulan, the bone blower's clan chief from the village of Vignamri. He is an open minded man who holds great expectations of exchanges with the colonies. He would like to meet you to discuss a treaty, even an alliance. Ulan, you say? I have never heard mention of this name, but to finally have an ally among the natives could only be beneficial. That is excellent news. Still, I fear that I cannot leave the city. That would be taking too much of a risk. I doubt that Ulan will come to Hikmet. He is looking for an alliance, but he is not desperate. Such a gesture would be considered a sign of weakness by his clan. That is understandable, I suppose. Do they grasp the concept of emissaries? Do you think that solution might work? I think that might be possible. I'm sure he would understand that you could not come to see him in person for the same reason. Excellent. Finally, some clear skies in our negotiations with the natives. My right-hand man will then go to this village to finalize an agreement with King Ula. I'll be there too, to make sure everything goes according to our plan. There is another matter concerning the same village that I would like to bring to your attention. A wandering merchant, member of the Ulan clan, is being kept in your outpost. Can you authorize his entry into the city? I see no harm in that. This merchant is certainly not a threat to us, and he might even prove useful. If the negotiations with his clan should take a foul turn. Here, please be so kind as to give him this letter of passage. If he presents it to the guards, they will let him in and he'll be able to establish his stall in... I thank you. I hope to see you again. I have to go. Look forward to seeing you again. Farewell, my lady. You're late unto... Could you tell me a little? Hikmet is the oldest city. We began construction of its first building here in every. Fair. I can't remember if I've had those conversations with him. Anyway, so we'll finish everything that there is to do in the Hikmet region before we leave. Require the talent of a doctor, and we would prefer to have the best. But an accident is quick in coming. We wouldn't want to have to settle for second best. I do not know what these brutes want with the doctor, but we cannot let them get away with it. Well, well. What do you want? You need to leave the doctor alone. Is that so? Well, let's see if you can live up to your gigantic mouth. Maybe I'll protect me in this battle. May the shadow engulf our enemies! What a terrible That mess. was quick. What a bunch of idiots. Thank you for your help. I don't know where they wanted to take me, but those brutes had the most detestable manners. I'm happy to have been of service. Nevertheless, our presence was not a coincidence. Are you in need of a doctor? Indeed. My cousin is suffering from the Malachor. I know that there's no cure yet. But you still hope. Because surrender is unbearable. I came here because I couldn't bear to watch the sick die any longer. I had hoped to never see a case of this disgusting disease. Yet here you are. Your experience with the disease might be helpful in treating his symptoms while we... You hope that a few days can bring you what we couldn't find in years. You are extremely naive. I would like nothing more than to send you looking for help elsewhere. 
But I cannot refuse you. Not after your intervention back there. You are so helpful. And it is only right that I return the favor. I shall leave immediately for New Serene. I'll do my best to help wow, your cousin. Wow, thank you. That's all that I'm in a position to promise. Thank you, Doctor. I won't ask for anything more. I'm afraid our search for this doctor was nothing but a waste of time. What can she even do for Constantine anyway, besides prescribe some bloodlettings? As if your healer's prayers were more effective. A miracle is still possible, but you need to have faith. Something that is completely foreign to you. Enough. We must find a way to heal Constantine. And your quarrels are not helping. We can only hope that she will manage to alleviate his condition. At the fiery blasts, you'll find the quintessence of hell. I like having the party members who are not supposed to get along together. And that's really interesting. There should be horses or something. Walking, Renaixe. This does not have mercy. They will kill me. I am but a merchant who wishes to trade with the big city. I never thought I would see several one hundred percent attacking a mere merchant. And I thought honor and righteousness were of the utmost importance in your culture. I must have been mistaken. What are you trying to say, Renaixe? Are you insulting us? You are insulting yourselves by behaving this way. He's an unarmed man. He's trying to survive. What honor is there in attacking him? He is a traitor. He deserves to be punished. But you are right. He is not worth attacking. Let's leave. His punishment will come once we have chased the Renaixe away. And he cannot sell his brother. Adlo Reda Odolmanawi. May the trees along your path always bear fruit. Think nothing of it. Ulan told me that you were not able to enter the town. It is true. The soldiers did not let me enter. They left me outside, and the Donaya Exdragao took advantage of this up. Rest assured, I have obtained permission for you to enter from the governor of Hickman, which should allow you to set up your stall in this... At Loreda, Renaixi. Farewell, merchant. Perhaps we will meet again. Unlikely. Wait, I have to go back and inform Ulan? Wow, okay.
Leland. I see that the governor of Hikmet's emissary is already here. He is. And I am very thankful that you succeeded in organizing this meeting. I am full of hope for the future. Uh, we are very grateful as well, Your Excellency. However, if you could leave us, I am sure you can understand that the discussion we are about to have must remain confidential. Naturally. I hope that you will reach an agreement. I was trying to see if there was a bed around. So I guess we'll just leave and come back. Oh, Afra has another quest? Shoot. So this one, one day, now we'll go back and ask uh, how it went after we finish this one, I guess. Mostly named. And have you found there were also free with that look? Excuse me. You must come with me. You realize so far. And you think that we have I see. It seems we are we, we oh. are but set. Maybe I'm lucky. It's already going off a lot better at the start. See that's the uh, what am I? Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, he tried to get me. He tried to get me. Oh my god. Blasted. <laughs> hey, you guys stop sitting around. That's what I'm talking about. My own brothers in faith. They attacked the fact us. That the Inquisition is after us is very disturbing, Excellency. We would do well to hasten to San Mateus. They will not dare to attack you there, even if these men were the last forces that the Inquisition could send us. You are right. All this proves is that I will not succeed without your help. There is a risk that the Mother Cardinal will also reject our discoveries. And if you will allow me to attend the hearing, I would be delighted to support. Your help will be precious to us, Father. In any case, 
We must present our research to Mother Cardinal as soon as possible. I will study the tablets one last time to make sure I know all their contents. And I will meet you at the palace in San Mateus to plead our case. Understood. See you soon, Sister Eugenia. Be careful. That was a great fight. I'm glad we were strong enough now. Shoo! Key to the Ordo Luminous Prisons? Hmm. Definitely gonna hold on to that one. Sorry, Father Man, all these uh, people were kind of your friends. Okay. Yeah, meet later. So now we'll do. We'll go back to the one we were just doing, which was the Alliance. I hope it's good news. So, have you reached an agreement? Our discussions were very fruitful. However, we are faced with a problem. Really? Our peace treaty depends on the ability to exchange freely. And Chief Ulan has warned me that our merchants would be at risk of being attacked by the neighboring clan. Mordun, the chief of the village of Egugsob, is at the Nea Exraga. He is among those who think that the people of your Royland are only here to take from but his village would also benefit from this agreement. If you could convince him to meet us, we could reach an understanding, allowing the caravans to pass through his territory. Without this, I am afraid we would not be able to make a commitment. Peace and trade are linked. If our merchants risk their lives coming here... We am sure that you will manage to convince him that the Renaigse are not all bad. I can try it. At Loreda. We will wait here and hope that you will manage to reason. Vasco also has a quest? Oh my gosh. There's so many side quests to do. See, it's been fast since we could fast travel around everywhere. I thought it said there were four side quests, so I was missing one. Because it was Petrus, Afra, Vasco, so the other one had to be Siora or. No, not Vasco. I can't remember that guy's name. Hmm. 
Kurt, the sword dude, the coin guard. I like his side quest. Nobody ever gets mad at us. What are you doing here, and I say, your coin are not welcome in my. Ulan, the king of Vignamri, wants to establish a trade agreement and sign a peace treaty with the governor of Hikmet. This sounds like something he would do. All he ever thinks about is picking up the crumbs left behind by the Renaik set. All of that in hope of breeding new life into his village while insulting the memory of the deceased men and women who lived there. Hikmet's emissary will only sign if their merchants can move freely and in peace. They want to meet you. I am not like him. I am a Derenaikse cannot be trusted. They are deceitful and only seek to trap us. The Donea Exregau I have met were fearless. And yet you were running away from a mere meeting. By refusing to negotiate, you are only showing weakness. Nothing else. Oh, not Fradi. The worst part is that you are right. We cannot refuse this meeting without appearing weak. Foin. I will meet Ulan and his emissary. But of course we will not. not. Go to his village. Tell them to find me at Lambristel. I will be there in a few hours. I will tell them right away. Thank you. You are becoming as talented as Petrus when it comes to convincing people. I wonder if I should be concerned about it. So to the Dignitas in camp, and then back to Ulan. Gotcha.
What are you doing? Who let you pass? Your men. We are here to parley with your chief. Parley? With Renaixe? You truly but Leave this to me. I want to know what they have to say. I know you, Renaixe. It is you who freed the Loyan prisoner. And to do that, you spilled the blood of my own brothers and sisters. We seek a cure for my people. That is the reason I liberated the sages and the reason I am here. I am fully committed to finding this cure, even if violence must be employed. Well, don't hold back for my sake. Maybe a man will protect me in this battle. Watch out! Enough. You were defeated, but I'm not here to take your lives. Where is the Mistress of Wisdom? I will keep the secret for myself. Neither the Bridge Alliance nor anyone else will learn it from me. I hope you speak with truth. You will find the Tiernahach Kadachtas in the village of Vigshardir, to the northeast of this camp. Now leave us, and do not betray your word. Mordun is willing to meet you at Lanristel to sign a peace treaty. You really are an accomplished negotiator and diplomat, Your Excellency. I knew you would succeed. That is not at all Thanks what that you, guy the said. The whole region will be at peace. Do you know where this place is, Ulan? Of course. In our language, Lanristel means glade of promise. It is a sacred place, one whose peacefulness must be respected. It bodes well. In that case, we should go there at once. Yes. Come back to see me soon. And if luck is on our side, we will celebrate peace together. If those two ever sign a peace treaty, I'll be very surprised. We should go to Lan Ristel to check that everything is going according to plan. And if we want to see this encounter, we should leave now. I should be able to make it just fine to the negotiations. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh no. Adloredar, thank you for coming. You saved me. Dadakar Sedulan. I should have known he would betray That's us crazy. Both. My men are dead, and now I am injured. He achieved exactly what he wanted in the end. I will have to join another clan if I do not want my whole village to suffer the consequences of my defeat. I'm sorry, Mordun. I really am. You were deceived, just like I was. Sometimes, among the stones, there can be snakes. Farewell, Bonol Manawi. And do not let yourself be betrayed. Now we're gonna go get him, he's gonna pay for that. Traitor. This meeting was meant to establish peace, and yet you have exclusively sent armed men. Mortun was a Denea ex regal. He would have never accepted an agreement with the Renaigs. He would have endlessly attacked our merchants and our allies' caravan. We had to protect ourselves if we were to make these exchanges possible. So we did. By lying and manipulating. I am sorry, but I was unsure that you would agree to help us. If I told you the truth, I understand your anger. But keep in mind that we are now at peace. Thanks to you. You are now a Karans of Ignamri. And should you seek it, you will always have our assistance. Anything else? Nothing. I must go. They got me good there. Hmm, I think we could have this conversation with the Mother Cardinal.
and then the healer also in the next episode. And also probably Petrus's quest, I assume it's going to take place here. I could at least get it started. Excellency, we were eagerly awaiting your arrival. Sister Eugenia was just recounting me the tale of your achievements and telling me about the incredible discoveries you've made. These relics shed a new light on the last years of our founder. It all demonstrates that he hadn't evangelized the islanders, but on the contrary, he would even have adopted some of their rituals, merging the cult of the enlightened and the cult of nature in a single dogma. These discoveries, if they can be verified, are extraordinary. But they also represent a great upheaval that could harm our nation. We must first verify their authenticity. You are the only ones who entered this cave. Could what you have witnessed be a falsification? I mean, the it seems very unlikely. It's located in a very remote place. There's no island or village nearby. It contains some ruined dwellings, but clearly no one has lived there for a very long time. Fraudsters would inevitably have left traces of their passage, and we have not found any. The entrance to the cave was protected by one of those giant creatures that the natives call a Nardai. These guardians usually protect sacred places and let no one enter without a fight. I had to kill this beast, which leads me to think that nobody had entered the cave for a very long time. We discovered ancient frescoes on the walls of the cave. They represent Saint Matthias without a doubt. He's depicted with his chaplain. In one, he is praying for the divinity of the island. In the other, his face was being painted by a native. I understand how shocking these discoveries are, but their antiquity proves that they are genuine. The tablets found at the site, however, attest that our founder had not abandoned the cult of the enlightened he simply saw it as two different reflections of the same divine power the relics could be authentic your excellency but we only have your word to convince the political and religious impact of these discoveries will be unprecedented we risk schism civil war and who is to say that this is not a plan to weaken us It seems that you only see the negative. True, she should just go look at it herself. But the reality is very different. By integrating some of the natives' beliefs into your dogma, you could build an alliance with them. Something no other nation has managed to achieve before. What good is such a reproach if our nation has fallen into chaos? I would also like to inform you that a member of the Ordo Luminis was part of the expedition. He tried several times to sabotage it even killing many of his colleagues for it. And finally, he attacked us as we were preparing to join San Mateo. You'd have thought that the remaining members of the Order would go to such extremes. But I fear these attacks are just a reflection of what will happen if your discoveries are made public. Your Eminence, we are faced with a crucial choice for our nation. What does a man of faith do in such a dilemma? He prays and places his trust in the one who came before him and has shown more wisdom. Saint Matthias shows us a new way. If we are believers, can we really turn our backs on him? You surprise me, Petrus. You who are always so political, yet your words seem sincere. You give me something to think about. Thank you. What we have discovered is real. The very idea of concealing it is a disgrace. <laughs> Interesting remark. From That's a exactly right. The nation we are fighting against. Does anyone wish to add anything? I understand your doubts about the future, which are inevitably caused by such a revelation. You hesitate just as Saint Lucius did to tell us about the journey of his master. Yet in the end, he revealed what he knew, and his words still guide to lay me today. Thank you for your testimony. I will now retire to think about everything and make my decision. 
After much thought, I have decided it best to silence these dangerous discoveries. Our nation cannot That's risk That's crazy. But your eminence, this research... Enough, my dear. I have made my decision. Your research must end immediately. I cannot keep the secret of what I discovered. The world must know... It would be a shame to hear that our most distinguished theologian was arrested for heresy, my dear. I... That's why we're about Very to get well, you out of here, Mother goodness. Cardinal. Your Excellency, I cannot deny the importance of the help you have given us, and I am grateful for it. And I hope I can count on your discretion. It would be a shame for our relationship with the congregation to suffer due to questionable allegations. Of course, Your Eminence. That did not go the way I wanted it to. So, two things. We'll talk to Petrus. Um, and this doctor. This doctor might just be one conversation, so I just want to do that real quick. We'll see if it, uh, if it is or if it's more quests. But I know it's just right over here. And then I've got another skill point and an attribute point. I'll obviously do that in between. And we'll have this conversation and then end the episode. Excuse me. Are you Cecilius, the famous healer? I am a healer only through the grace of the illuminated. What can I do for you, my child? My cousin. The governor of New Serene is in terrible pain. Well, that's terribly sad. Was he wounded in combat? Was it during the Coin Guard's rebellion? Alas, no. He is afflicted with the Malachor, and his days are numbered. We are looking for a cure, but... Now that's a true miracle that you require. And I fear that they're extremely rare in these pagan lands. Cecilius, my friend. If there's anyone on this island capable of helping the governor, it is you. Have you not been blessed by the Illuminated? Is it not your obligation to aid our allies? Without them, who knows what would have happened to our holy city during the plot? Petrus, you always knew how to weave words to get what you want. Very he good. is very good. I'll go to New Serene and try to ease the governor's pain. But do not feed on vain hopes. There are trials that we must accept to undertake with humility. A thousand thanks. Is May the Illuminated go with you, my child. There is no miracle that he cannot accomplish. I will pray that you find this cure that we need so desperately. I have not lost hope. How can you believe that this Cecilius will be able to do anything? Miracles are nothing but superstitions. Because your healers can cure the Malachor? Excellent news. All I'm hoping for is that he'll manage to give my cousin some time. And some respite while we look for an antidote. Or I'll just do it now, whoops. Where's the Desarde residence? Alright. So in the next episode, we're going to pick up here in Teleme and we'll check out Petrus' side quest. And then probably do Afra's and, uh, who is the other one? Kurt had a side quest, I think. Anyway, if you enjoyed this episode, go ahead and leave a like, comment, and subscribe. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.